I'm going to hand over to Dr. Buchandran. So good afternoon to everyone. Um, we got uh, three topics for, hot topics, I would say, for discussion. First, I'm going to call in uh, Krishnan Swaminathan, uh, who's going to talk about the metabolic implications of environmental toxins which is also a hot topic at the moment uh, with what's going on around. So, uh, so on to you, sir. Thank you. Hello, Rukum, Paniwana, Madhya Vanakangal. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, from a dry topic, I think my main aim is to not to make you go to sleep for the next 20 minutes. Okay, well, so there's a lot of work that has gone on here. Um, I'm really thankful to the organizers for calling me here. Um, I'm not going to talk theory about toxins. We are going to talk about some of the practical work that we have done, which has huge implications for our everyday life. And uh, human error is always a portal of discovery. And uh, this is one case that we published in Diabetes Care in 2013. Uh, I was uh, fresh from Scotland to Madurai, of all places. And uh, or, uh, afternoon, 2 o'clock, casualty. Emergency admission, diabetic ketoacidosis, 15-year-old girl. We go there, glucose is around 400, ketones positive, pH of 7.1, all confirmed DKA. But when we talk to the family, there's no prodrome. Urine adikadi pole, tannidaga medical, no weight loss. The child was absolutely fine the night before, abdinger rappa. And uh, my first writing on the case notes was, this is not typical of type 1 diabetes. Uh, I didn't put it, but still the child had DK. We had to treat with IV insulin, IV fluids, and all those lot. And within 24 hours, the glucoses became normal, but the child went into severe respiratory arrest. So Monday, Pichikti, the Ennava Irukumada, we are treating everything properly. There's no prodrome, uh, but the child is responding metabolically, but going into respiratory arrest. So night or one o'clock, I am going into PubMed and uh, Googling uh, PubMeding, uh, what are the masqueraders of DKA? Poisoning and DKA. I didn't put on, I got three hits. Pesticide poisoning presenting as DKA. And at the one case, when the Mysore learned the one case, Indian Journal of Pediatrics, uh, a 11 year old boy went to a field and ate four tomatoes, all sprayed with pesticides, and presented with exactly the same manifestation. And in fact, in the case, there is a pointer. Pointer. Oh, mostly. Sorry. Uh, so, very similar presentation. And on the Payan Ki, they made a DK protocol ported 24 hours later, he went into respiratory arrest. So, the doctors then thought about this and did a colon estrace, which is a marker for pesticide poison, and they found it extremely low, which confirmed uh, pesticide poison. And then they gave atropine pralidoxin, and the child recovered. So, I give a call to my ICU at uh, 2 o'clock in the middle of the night saying, get an urgent colon estrace done. And the levels come back at 526, normal thousands. So I run to the uh, ICU, talk to the parents again. What are you hiding here? This is not DKA. And a maths exam will fail. Anala on the pesticide poisoning punish night before. And we couldn't smell anything at 2 in the afternoon. stomach But because of societal reasons, they didn't tell uh, that the child had done this. But uh, then after that, we gave atropine pralidoxin and extubated on day 5 and discharged him on day 8. HbA1c was normal, no diabetes uh, at a six-week follow-up, and GAD antibody was negative. So this just raised the question as to whether, are we missing a big cog in the wheel? Number one, one of the people who are talking about it, where is the person for the diabetes explosion? Other, there was not so much of diabetes, maybe even 10, 15 years ago. Now it's very difficult to find a family without diabetes. And are we missing something else? And this is my review article in Diabetic Medicine in 2013, um, asking a question, pesticides and human diabetes, is it worth exploring? And it's amazing to know that every single aspect of pesticide poisoning, not necessarily acute poisoning, we are asking about chronic low-dose intake. Number Andradam Sapra, Kaigari Gallarukum, pesticides, you've got to go to see in rural areas how much the everyday cauliflower and tomatoes you eat are sprayed with pesticides. For cauliflower, when the padina ladarva mukrang and the chemical kulare, by the time it comes to your home. And we are eating it for long term. And is this increasing the chance of getting diabetes? And uh, we did some uh, uh, communication with uh, Professor Abdullah Rahmani from uh, Iran. They are very well versed with pesticide poisoning because they used in warfare. 
and our data nariya ne kamchar and these are some of the ways in which pesticides can cause increased gluconeogenesis they are beta cell destructive they cause insulin resistance and what not they affect every single pathway of carbohydrate metabolism so namba idu varaikum nammalo traditional thinking for diabetes in the four g's nu solven genetics appa ma maatha mudiyadhu nenchalum adala kudumbathula irukku sir onnume panna mudiyadhu greediness for food and money nu potten na ya paya vela senjittirukum udamba paathukiradilla exercise pannaradilla and general perception about health in india nalla gunda kashkumushkun irundha we are very happy la kolai the fit a irundha na ayyo enga olunga saapradhe kediyadha abdingro and uh, gadgets is a very important reason ipo kolainga and ipad iphone uttu kanna edukka maatingranga and uh, in the why why paradox ketu ketu pulichirukku ungalku idhan genetics nu solren being born a south asian increase the risk of diabetes compared to caucasian Uh, but genetics just loads the gun environment pulls the trigger and i mean no way i'm demeaning traditional risk factors i think they are very important i think diet lifestyle food habits sedentary everything is so important and this is a great uh, slide from the cover of economist enak romba pidicha slide karkala manidha nalla fit a irundha soor la kadaiyadhu avan mcdonald's la pakkathula kadaiyadhu he had to hunt and get food ana ipo paarenga manidhan abade poga poga kfc mcdonald adhaadhu the captions are vandu i am loving it McDonald's அது கூட ஒரு பொம்மையும் வச்சு தருவான் ஸோ குழந்தை அந்த பொம்மை வாங்கறதுக்காகவே அந்த பர்கரை வாங்க ஐ ஸ்டில் ரிமெம்பர் இந்த யூகே தட் குழந்தைங்களாம் அழைச்சிட்டு போகும்போது அந்த டாய்ஸ்க்காக தே பை த பர்கர்ஸ் அண்ட் கேஎஃப்சி வந்து கேப்ஷன் இஸ் ஃபிங்கர் லிக்கிங் குட் மீனிங் டோன்ட் ஈவன் லீவ் த கலோரிஸ் இன் யூர் ஃபிங்கர்ஸ் அதையும் லிக் பண்ணுங்கிறான் ஸோ ஆவரேஜ் மீல்ஸ் இஸ் அரௌண்ட் டூ தௌசண்ட் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் கிலோ கலோரிஸ் ஸோ ஃபாஸ்ட் ஃபுட் அண்ட் ஜென்ரல் ஃபுட் கல்ச்சர் இது மதுரை ஸ்காட்லாண்ட் இருந்து மதுரை தான் வந்து ஓஆர் குமரன் சார் இங்கே இருக்கார் இட்ஸ் அ கிரேட் கொலிக் ஆஃப் மைன் இன் இன் மதுரை மதுரையை மாரி ஒரு சூப்பர் ஊர் உலகத்தில் பார்க்க முடியாது நைட்டு ரெண்டு மணிக்கு இறங்கினாலும் யூ கேன் கெட் சூப்பர் இட்லி தோசை என் வடை என் மதுரை ஓகேவா அண்ட் ஃபுட்டுக்கு பெயர் போன ஊர் அது அந்த ப மதுரையில் இந்த பரோட்டா அண்ட் அந்த காலவாசல் பஸ் ஸ்டாண்டில் ஒரு சூப்பர் அட்வர்டைஸ்மெண்ட் இருக்கும் ஒரு ஹோட்டலில் ஐந்து தோசை சாப்பிட்டால் ஒரு தோசை இலவசம் அண்ட் நம்ம ஆளுங்க ஆறாவது தோசை சாப்பிட்றதுக்காகவே அந்த அஞ்சு ஒரு கட்டு கட்டுவாங்க அண்ட் இந்த ஜில் ஜில் ஜிகர் தண்டான்னு ஒரு ட்ரிங்க் இருக்குது ஸ்ட்ரைட்டாகவே டூ தௌசண்ட் கிலோ கலோரிஸ் இதை கோயம்புத்தூர் சென்னையெல்லாம் ஜிகர் தண்டா சாப்பிடக்கூடாது மதுரையில் மட்டும்தான் சாப்பிட்ணும் இட்ஸ் ஆத்தன்டிக் பட் லோடட் வித் கலோரிஸ் ஸோ அண்ட் மனிதன் நாய்க்குட்டி வாங்கினான்னா வினோ ஹூ டஸ் த ட்ரெட்மில் இட்ஸ் இன் வெரி மெடி த டாக் ஹூ டஸ் இட் அண்ட் ஹியூமன்ஸ் டோன்ட் ஸோ நோ டவுட் தேட் டயட் அண்ட் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் இஸ் அ மேஜர் ஃபேக்டர் பட் ஐ திங்க் வி ஆர் மிஸ்ஸிங் சம்திங் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஸோ ஷுட் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் பிளேம் திஸ் அண்ட் இது பை பேசி புண்ணியமே கிடையாதுன்னு ஒத்துக்கிறீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் நம்மளும் தொண்டை தண்ணி வார்த்தை பேசிகிட்டு இருக்கோம் டாக்டர்ஸே நமக்கு நேரம் கிடைக்க மாட்டேங்குது பண்ணுறதுக்கு ஸோ பட் பேக் டு த கேஸ் திஸ் ரைஸ் அ சீரியஸ் ரிசர்ச் கொஸ்டின் இஃப் அக்யூட் பெஸ்டிசைட் பாய்சனிங் கேன் காஸ் டிகேஏ இன் செலக்டட் இண்டிவிஜுவல்ஸ் நாட் ஆல் பெஸ்டிசைட் பாய்சனிங் ப்ரெசன்ட் வித் டிகே மேபி தெர் ஆர் சம் ஜெனடிக்ஸ் இன்வால்வ் வாட் அபவுட் கிரானிக் லோடோஸ் ஆர்கனோஃபாஸ்ஃபேட்ஸ் தட் வி ஈட் இன் அவர் டே டு டே ரைஸ் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் அண்ட் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் ஸோ இது எங்கள் டீம் பண்ண ஒர்க் இது இந்த ரெட்டில் இருக்கிறதெல்லாம் மதுரை டாக்டர் வேல்முருகன் ஒன் ஆஃப் அ க்ளோஸ் கொலீக் ஆஃப் மைண்ட் ஃப்ரம் மதுரை காமராஜ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி சும் அ செல்ஃப் ரிப்போர்ட் கொஸ்டினர் ஆஃப் டயபிட்டிஸ் இன் வில்லேஜஸ் ஃபார்மிங் வில்லேஜஸ் டுவெல் பாயிண்ட் எயிட் பர்சன்ட் ஈரோடு நல்லாம்பட்டி இப்போ நாங்கள் பண்ண ஸ்டடி அது சிக்ஸ்டீன் பாயிண்ட் டூ பர்சன்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஹெச்பிஎன் சே ப்ரூவன் டயபிட்டிஸ் அண்ட் தேனி ஃபிஃப்டீன் பாயிண்ட் சிக்ஸ் பர்சன்ட் அண்ட் ஐ திங்க் ஐசிஎம்ஆர் இண்டாப் மெத்தடாலஜிக்கலி ஒன் ஆஃப் த பெஸ்ட் ஸ்டடிஸ் பட் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் சீரியஸ் திங்க் வெதர் தட் இட்ஸ் அன் அண்டர் எஸ்டிமேட் ஆஃப் ரூரல் டயபிட்டிஸ் or whether things have moved on over the last 10 years that maybe double digit prevalence of diabetes is what is happening in rural areas so naanga enna pannona appa madurai la onnu paanal la ungalku onnum kedaiyadha namma kai la summa or 5 glucometer or 5 bp machine or 5 volunteer eduthittu poittu we talk to the panchayat president who are our patients and 250 pera categorize pannom and category 1 were people who are either at home or working in municipal offices they didn't go to fields or farms category 2 were people who are weeding and pruning in the kuli vela pandravanga in the kalai edukravanga and category 3 were people who are actively spraying pesticides amazing ena na personally irundanga glucometer vecha 400 500 and these guys have a bmi of 21 22 they look absolutely ill they don't do any testing on themselves and the prevalence of diabetes was around 40% with odds ratio of 2.07 agreed it was not a fantastically well designed study it is more a poi or naangle categorize panni paathom but we got it published in practical diabetes in 2015 uh, saying pesticides in human diabetes uh, a pilot project to explore a possible link and this was 250 idu vandu 3000 population in madurai and what we did was uh, we asked this question ninga vayalla poi vela seivingla maatingla
Diabetes is 6.2 percent, is a self-reported diabetes, of which 10 percent we did validate with HbA1c. 18 percent had diabetes when they were exposed to organophosphate, with a total of 12.8. So again, we saw double or triple the number of diabetes if they were exposed to farming practices or uh, uh, organophosphates. And this is a Red Sea study. If this was presented in IDEX all recently. Uh, I think this was the only study accepted for oral presentation from India, if I'm right. And this is one lakh population through our KMC Research Foundation. So we sampled uh, uh, rural districts throughout Tamil Nadu state, linking up with a lot of colleges around. And uh, this is again what we saw. This is a very simple self-reported questionnaire with a mobile app that connects to a central server. Plus other categories as well. And again, whole population, rural uh, uh, villages, 11.8. But if it was a farming population, it's 15 percent compared to 8.6 if it's a non-farming population. So something is happening in farming villages, especially in relation to pesticides and heavy metals and fertilizers. So it doesn't matter where in Tamil Nadu state diabetes prevalence is threefold higher, whether it's 250 population, 3,000 or 1 lakh. And this is some original work that we did with Madurai Kamaraj University looking at mice models. So in the red layer mice, when they, they were fed with small amounts of monocrotophos with water. And we do something called as the TMDA. It's total mean daily intake of these pesticides, which is what a human being would consume for 15 years. So maiska arumasana, that translates into 15 years for humans. And we calculated very low doses of monocrotophos in water. And you can see that within 60 days, mice that were fed with monocrotophos became frankly hyperglycemic compared to mice fed with uh, uh, normal water without monocrotophos. So we got some animal work as well. So in a nutshell, we believe that there's a threefold higher risk of diabetes in rural areas exposed to organophosphates. And traditional risk factors do not alone explain this risk in these areas because they are not obese, they work day to night, there's no family history. And chronic intake of organophosphates induce glucose intolerance. And this is a flagship Nalambati non communicable disease study. It is a chairman of a personal village. So we had a lot of say in this village. And I think this is one of the largest studies in the world, Indian Sulmo, where we did pesticide levels on nearly 1,000 population. Serum pesticides are in the Panamari Therila. So uh, we teamed up with IIT Madras, and I'm doing a part time PhD, nearly done with it. And we analyzed pesticide levels in serum and heavy metals in urine. And main in the fertilizer circular, in the fertilizers alone loaded with arsenic. And they're spraying these fertilizers and it gets absorbed into the groundwater and it is taken up by the rice, vegetables and all the food that we eat uh, every day. And just in a nutshell, I don't have time to go through entire detail, but the slide A, so the pre-diabetes, diabetes, and we did carotid intima scans on every single population here. Talk about 1,000 people with proper carotid intima thickness done by your radiology uh, PGs. And uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, now it's the level of pesticide in the blood. So we categorized it into four quartiles. It was 0 to 2.5, now Q1, 2.5 to 5, now 2, 5 to 7.5, now 3, 7.5 to 10, now 4. And everything was compared against the baseline Q1. And we find that with increasing pesticide level in the blood, uh, you can see that diabetes, pre-diabetes, and atherosclerosis increases. And the same thing for arsenic as well. If the urine arsenic level increases uh, uh, with every quartile, that's what, in a nutshell, we think is happening. Number Andradam Sapur, Munavagal, Lirikum, and the Puchukoli Marandigal, Allah, the arsenic, the fertilizers, especially pesticides, they get absorbed into the gas, uh, goes through the small intestines, and they're activated by a gut microbiota, which changes these pesticides into toxic acetates, which get absorbed through the portal circulation, and these toxic acetates increase gluconeogenesis. Again, in the hypothesis, in the paper published under Genome Biology, we did some gut microbiota work. And we analyzed all the gut microbiota on these patients and found that acetate levels were extremely high in those mice fed with uh, monocrotophos in water. So this is a published paper in Genome Biology. Swaminathan, uh, Swaminathan, pesticides, Sabdin Portale, in Genome Biology. The impact factor is around 13, so it's a very high impact factor journal. And it's one of the most cited paper, uh, uh, at least in Genome Biology, for that year, 2017. And uh, there's some of our work on gut microbiota, endocrine disrupting chemicals and diabetes. And in fact, in trends in endocrinology and metabolism, it was the cover uh, for indicating that even peer-reviewed international journals think that there is some merit in what we are talking about. And uh, this is our paper on metals in urine, especially arsenic in the urine with the prevalence of prediabetes, diabetes, and atherosclerosis. And this is in Journal of uh, Occupation and Environmental Medicine, which again, a five plus impact factor. We got selected for round two of BMG South Asia Awards on this paper, 36 out of 2,000, but uh, couldn't make it into the top three. So I think I just want to summarize by saying that 
Um, we are just totally thinking about just diet, lifestyle, and all those lot. There's a whole new ball game out there in the communities. And I think pesticides, heavy metals, in fertilizers, we unleashed all the fertilizers in Nalambati village at IIT Madras. Arsenic levels are through the roof. And apparently these fertilizers are purchased from Australia and uh, Africa, where the, the soil is very rich in arsenic. And they get contaminated with these uh, potash fertilizers. And uh, we think this might be also a risk factor. And we are working on this hypothesis that co-accumulation of both arsenic and organophosphates are they triggering uh, increased gluconeogenesis in an area that we are working on currently. So, what are we going to do? I think we need more research to lobby governmental regulatory agencies. Simpler, farmers or mask apron They just spray it without, and the apron mask is mandatory. So we are educating all the farmers in our area, just do that, that will prevent the uh, nasal absorption because the OPs are rapidly absorbed from all the mucosal sites. So other panla and the pesticide kadela kanda the kalanda kurtutruka because the farmers are so illiterate that he, they'll mix around five pesticides together and give it because they want the yield better than the farmer next door. So we need to educate this and uh, I've been invited to ICAR to give a talk on this the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. But can we do something? Every one of us can do something about it. Or a simple thing, in a general market, at the minimum, one hour ko uh, They're all laden with pesticides, and it gets into the flesh of it, so that even sometimes uracha kuda pohadu. But at least one to two hours, nalla wash pannenge. Don't take unwashed fruits and vegetables. That is a simple thing that you can do. In the cauliflower grapes, la, vandu romba careful arenge. And uh, this is our home. We thought we, we started an organization called Ferns in Coimbatore. In the Mupatar Vaidhanle Padathle Pathir Pingana, the rooftop gardening, it is fantastic. And if I have a the 70% to 80% of the uh, food we cook are from our rooftops. And we have a lot of Arumia, totally organic with uh, no pesticides. And in the young lot of schools, Pakatla, school colleges, we have started this program. It's great to see every kid assigned a, a plant. Uh, and it's coming on really well. And I just want to thank my team because teamwork matters, nothing can be done on its own. Uh, two legends that we are proud of working with. One is our chairman, Dr. Nalaji Paniswami, for a corporate chairman to pump in about two crores for this kind of research. Uh, uh, I think it's so difficult to believe and he's such a big supporter. Professor Talapil Pradeep uh, at IIT Madras. Uh, Single-handedly, Professor Pradeep has changed the way uh, water arsenic-affected areas in Bengal is one reason why things are getting better. So he's doing a, quite a lot of work on clean water. And uh, all my colleagues, Dr. Thomas Alexander, Arul Raj, Matthew Cherian, and two of our best scientists, Moharaj and Bill Murgan, and all the allied health institutions associated with KMC. Thank you. Excellent. There you go. Um, that was very nicely presented. So uh, questions from your side. So while we wait, I mean, your, your study clearly shows like, you know, how the rural, the incidence in rural and urban is just narrowing yeah. so much. And sometimes I'm worried like the, the incidence you have told me seems to be higher in certain parts of uh, urban compared to the rural areas. Excellent. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you is this, this study is there isn't any focus studies done on in this kind of thing in a big way. Yeah. We just have uh, just few things talking here and there. Mm. And number two, uh, the pollutants which we get exposed to are very tiny, small amounts. Yeah. And how big impact is that going to be compared to? Uh, I think the worry is it coming into the food chain. I don't think it's limited to rural areas alone because the produce that is being there is coming to all the urban areas is food. So I really, you're right saying that larger studies are needed at this point of time. So if I do this presentation, people, people will ask, you're not showing, you're just showing an association. So what we are doing is we are following up this cohort for the next 10 years. In fact, we have gone to year two of the village and what we are finding is higher urine arsenic pre-diabetes are getting converted into diabetes faster. So those on Q4 arsenic, are getting converted to diabetes faster than Q1, for example. So, but unless we do longitudinal follow-up, it would be difficult to see. Thank you. So, any more questions from the audience? Yes. I've got a vast, vast experience in this field. Sure. I've got a lot of in this state. Yeah. And uh, I was in charge of the nutrition. Yeah. What Swaminathan was? Yeah. 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 Y
But I think uh, if you just I'll make, yeah. you can whatever you want to communicate, you can communicate on writing. Sir, no that question, no possible. discussion. That is not possible. There is not. We are not permitting. Just sir, just one one let minute, him one just minute, say. One minute. I'll, I'm just sharing my experience. I concur with Swaminathan. <laughs> only thing I am telling is what he has narrated so far is only uh, the tip of the iceberg. I think he'll concur. It is only the tip of the iceberg. Everything is contaminated. Everything is adulterated. You cannot have a cup of tea in Chennai city other than the star hotels because it is metachromate poisoning. The metachromate poisoning is done in Madhavaram. Madhavaram, there is a factory to produce adulterated tea. The green leaves, what you are all take, uh, taking, is fully adulterated with the insecticides and fertilizers. Finally, I'll tell one thing. The whole thing points to boils down to the green revolution. You cannot drop uh, one gram of urea or potassium okay. in UK or USA, but you can do havoc in India. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Yeah. I think he made a right point. The pesticide used in India is 750 times the European Union limits. You're right, sir. Excellent. Just one more question. Vigorous washing of vegetables said to remove essential nutrients. Uh, how do we... Remove that. I don't know what all I'm saying is that cautious vigorous wash Just for one hour, at least surface clean would be helpful. But again, I'm just talking based on what I see. I'm no expert in this area. I don't know. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Big applause. Thank you. Thank you. Usha.